Right now at 6 o'clock, a wrong way detection system came in handy in East Hartford. Granted, it didn't prevent a wrong way crash, but it sure helped police right afterwards. Plus, driving safe is something you want to make sure your team does when they get behind the wheel. The discussion today to help them become safer drivers. Also, animal cruelty allegations in Cheshire and the person being accused might be one of the last you would suspect. All local, all morning. This is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Six o'clock. Good morning. Happy Friday. Thanks for starting yours off with us here at Fox 61 and Fox 61 Plus America Area. And I'm Tim Lammers. Good morning. Happy Friday. Let's get you that weekend forecast because, boy, it is great. Yes. If you like sunshine, Rachel mm -hmm. Piscatelli, take Oof. it away. We're going to have a lot of it over the course of the next couple of days. Sunshine in the forecast and also warmer temperatures in the forecast, too. And we're seeing that currently. Our numbers are slightly warmer than this time yesterday, anywhere from three to about eight to nine degrees warmer. So right now in the capital city, we have mostly clear skies temperatures around 36 degrees that sun coming up to six minutes after seven o'clock it's 39 in Torrington now 45 in New Haven some of us may be waking up with some patchy frost on our windshields this morning so you may want to look out your window and kind of see if you have to start your car a little bit early as you start your day but temperatures are around 56 degrees already at 10 o'clock under a mostly sunny sky and into the mid 60s to upper 60s this afternoon 64 high temperature Waterbury 67 in Hartford take a look at the warm-up that's on the way for this upcoming weekend. We're around 72 on Saturday. We may start off with some patchy frost Saturday morning in some locations, but after that, temperatures are off to the races, especially for daytime highs. Around 75 on Sunday and then even warmer as we approach early next week. We'll have much more details on your seven-day forecast coming up in just a bit. It's 6.02 right now on the roads this morning here. Various road work has wrapped up for your morning commute. So a live look outside over in Waterbury this morning showing you 84 East and westbound. Your exits 18 to 25, four minutes. Route 8 Seymour to Shelton is six minutes and also Stratford, New Haven, 95 looking good. Earlier road work on 691 in Meriden has wrapped up. Tim and Erica. Rachel, thanks so much. Well, this morning, a Waterbury, Waterbury man rather is facing 11 charges, including DUI and driving the wrong way on a divided highway. Police say he hit a car head on Wednesday night on I-84. And police said the state's wrong way detection system alerted them of a car headed up an off ramp just one minute before that crash. Fox 61's Kaylee Collins takes a look now at the wrong way crash data from this year. This is just the latest wrong way crash to happen here in Connecticut. And although wrong way detection systems have been helping, these crashes are still happening at an alarming rate, and they're often due to people getting behind the wheel after they've been drinking or using drugs. They didn't see the driver that almost crashed into them. They didn't see the, the flashing red lights. And it's just really uh, remarkable that it wasn't more serious. A Waterbury man is behind bars after police say he crashed head on into another car and sideswiped a third while going the wrong way on an I-84 off ramp. That man, identified as 29 year old Wilmer Vizcano, was determined to be intoxicated by police. The driver of the vehicle hit head on was the only one hurt and reported only minor injuries. Virtually every single wrong way driver is impaired by alcohol. According to the Connecticut Department of Transportation, so far this year, there have been five wrong way crashes that have led to 12 deaths, an increase from this time last year. Statistics are um, heading in the wrong direction. Uh, they are increasing uh, and we are um, seeing wrong way drivers um, on a weekly basis, if not almost a nightly basis. The DOT has installed 80 wrong way detection systems statewide in areas considered high risk due to their close proximity to places where alcohol is commonly served. The technology immediately alerts state police upon activation. You know, about a minute is what it took for troopers to get out onto that scene last night. But those who've lost friends or family in a wrong way crash know it can only take a minute for a tragedy to occur. State Senator Matt Lesser has been advocating for increased transportation funding to enhance road safety following the death of his friend and colleague, State Representative Quentin Q. Williams, last year. 
Look, the human toll is really staggering, and you know, unfortunately, our uh, our roadways are not yet safe. We have to do a, a, a better job of making sure that uh, people just trying to go to a home or uh, go to work uh, are are able to be safe. Well, Connecticut, please be our partners in safety. Uh, follow the rules of the road uh, because uh, a crash can happen in a matter of seconds, and it often can be deadly. The DOT intends to have upwards of 120 wrongway detection systems up and running by this time next year. Reporting from the Fox 61 Skydeck, Kaylee Collins, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Well, the woman accused in the death of a Department of Transportation worker could enter a plea in court today. Denise Lutabello is charged with manslaughter after she allegedly hit and killed 26-year-old Andrew DiDomenico. Police say that she was under the influence of alcohol when the crash happened. The incident took place on the Wartonbrook connector in Wallingford in June. Lutabello remains behind bars. New Haven police are investigating a crash that took the life of a bicyclist. Now, this one happened just after two yesterday morning at Church Street and North Frontage Road. Police say a garbage truck hit 24-year-old Nicholas Balthazar Concepcion. He was taken to the hospital where he died of his injuries. The driver of the truck stayed at the scene. Uh, Bridgeport police said two people died when they lost control of a motorcycle they were on. They said it happened around 1 p.m. yesterday on Atlantic Street. They said 29-year-old Rohith Gurumurthy ran up on the curb after losing control, and he and 23-year-old Zavaria Sheikh were both thrown off the bike. Emergency responders said they both died at the scene. State leaders will hold a forum about safe driving today with students in West Hartford. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz and the Commissioner of the Department of Motor Vehicles will both be at Hall High School, where they will talk about best practices for staying safe on the roads. That discussion is scheduled to start at 9.30 this morning. This is ahead of National Teen Driver Safety Week, which starts on Sunday. Well, it's almost that time of the year again. College basketball season just around the corner, and the UConn Huskies are set to take the court tonight for their annual first night celebration. Yeah, it's a chance for everyone to see the men's and women's teams for the first time and bring the incitement back to Gamble Pavilion. Fox H1's Lindsay Kane is in stores this morning, live with much more. Lindsay, good morning. Hi, good morning. Well, first night this year is jam packed with activities in order to get students and players excited for the upcoming season. Now this year, things are kicking off with a block party on Jim Calhoun Way, followed by first night where the players will make their first appearances ahead of the start of the season. Now first night happens every year here on campus. It serves as a show in order to get the fans and of course the players ready and excited for the upcoming season. Players on the men's and women's teams will compete in shooting contests contests and even play some three on three drills to show off their skills ahead of the first game of the season for Husky Nation. First night is a symbol that shows the basketball capital of the world. It's time to get ready to bring that atmosphere back to campus. The men's team back to back national champions are coming into the season ranked number three on the Associated Press's preseason poll. The women are ranked number two. It'll be a team of some fresh faces for the men after losing several key players to the NBA. For the women, Paige Beckers is returning to help lead the Huskies. Now tonight's block party kicks off at 5 p.m. The doors for first night here at Gamble Pavilion will open at 6 p.m. with that event starting at 7 p.m. Now this year it is student centered. However, if you are a donor or a season ticket holder, you will have access to those remaining student tickets at 2 p.m. today. Live in stores, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Lindsay, Lindsay thank thanks. Our for marathon tomorrow and preparations are well underway. Yeah, more than 9,300 people are expected to run or walk the marathon, half marathon, and 5K. Now, the marathon race route will go through Hartford, West Hartford, East Hartford, and South Windsor. There will be live music, games, and more. In fact, last night, there were even several restaurant specials on Pratt Street and at the Excel Center just to get all the runners excited for the race. People are picking up their race bibs. Um, we are actually sold out of every race distance except for the half marathon. So the uh, fields are going to be full. It's going to be a great day. A um, lot, of, lot of people run in. Um, looks like great weather. So Saturday should be um, a great day. 
That's right. We've got about the relay race, too. Mm. There's four of them. And if you're running any of them, you can pick up your informational packet at the Excel Center in downtown Hartford today between noon and 7. Wow. We have a list of road closures that you're going to want to be mindful of ahead of the race this weekend. FoxH1.com for more information for the Hartford Marathon. You can scan the QR code on your screen right now to download our free Fox 61 News app if you don't have it already.